Uh, I remember listening to Tina Fey's audiobook, Bossy Pants, and she talks about how when she was a producer on SNL, her job was primarily reining in the other creatives so that they had a defined endpoint to their work. You know, lots of comic performers and writers just want to keep going and going and escalating and escalating, you know, exploring one chaotic avenue after another. Being a producer, you know, it's it's like herding feral cats, right? That's that's <laughs> but you have to end up with something concrete that normal people can wrap their heads around, you know, instead of a instead of continuous ethereal possibility and potential you know what if we went in this direction you know what what if we did this with the sketch what if this happened what if, what if we that'd be interesting ooh that'd be funny oh and well, then we could flip it and do this you know it's that's all very fun but like it needs to be more organized for normal people a producer is there to force the creative shapeshifter to become something to solidify into something more specific and it's it's hard to gauge what that more specific thing should be though right that's the struggle art is always reaching after something beyond the concrete you know art signals out at something else other than what it is but it still has to be something. It has to be something obvious enough and accessible and graspable, but at the same time, have the potential to signal more depending on how the viewer takes it in. So art needs creativity in order to say something new and interesting, but it also needs production, you know, something that concretizes it and keeps it, you know, rooted in the present time and place. And as a stand-up comic, you have to be your own creative and your own producer, right? You have to play both roles. You know, basically, you have, you have to make decisions, you know, basically have arguments with yourself about what aspects of the writing and performance you should keep and, you know, what needs to be cut away. And trust me, so much needs to be cut away. Like, most of it. You know, most of it needs to end up on the cutting room floor People don't have the time and patience for most of your weird ideas. <laughs> That's just the reality.